Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video we're doing uh we're doing I'm so used to saying uh what if but today we're doing a custom solar system burst to death. Credit credit to uh, the Neptunian guy, I got the idea from him. But I wanna try it myself, because I'm kinda curious what would happen. So the first things you gotta do is start placing some planets down. Place our first planet right here. Let's just place them everywhere. I think this is our most dominant one because it's pretty big. I may have to make it smaller J just to show how big it is. Oh, this is the biggest one I have. Alright. So these here. Alright, have that one in there. This one. This that one's this one's right here pretty small so get Nyx barely see Nyx get probably I don't know if I want to add this one in yeah we add it in there anyway this wasp in there uh, let's see I have any more yes we have this one we have a lot of gas giants also a lot of chaos. <laughs> this one won't be put in. It's way too huge. My friend made that. This one is some some of these plants are named after some other YouTubers, by the way. So you may recognize some of these names. I know I'm missing one, yeah. It's gonna be like an ice giant out there. It's what a chart. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Some of these are pretty big. As you see, those are the most dominant ones right here. So I'll just make uh, them red. This one can't be red anymore. I'll just make it blue. Right. Start placing some of the rocky planets in. Some of the uh, dwarf planets in also. Let's just put some of the dwarf plants in right away. Ah, that's also red. Ugh. Uh, let's see. No, I have some more. Yeah, post. I really like this one. I think that maybe that one is probably pretty large. Um, yeah, How big is this? It's a planet, so okay. Let's see, uh, also I have this one weird asteroid in there that's weird. Uh, so, some of these are just random objects I made. Like green crystal, I don't know. It's just bored. So, we're also just using the sun. Cherry. Laser beam. Hacks. Plus one. Giant silver. Yeah, this. There are a few dwarf plants right here. It's a lot of, a lot of planets. A lot of planets. Here, only a year. Mm, yeah. Damn, 
things going on. So this is maybe our only hab habitable uh, planet right here. No! Sir. <laughs> oh, Rick. My favorite one, too. I, I literally just made that one today. What is going on over here? Binary of Remainings. Ooh. Is that a rocket planet? No, that's not a rocket planet. The Remainings orbits now. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> well, we can just delete that because that is what. Bye bye. <laughs> right, so I'll probably do uh, a part two and a part three. The part three where the sun starts becoming a red giant. Part two will be like where the sun like starts like starts it starts to become a red giant. looks like this. I'm pretty sure there was no water on it, but okay. Uh, let me fix this. Uh, let's see. Alright, yeah. Just don't want that red. The only dominant ones should, should be red. Oh boy. Already one of the dominant ones are. Right? They're very weird orbits. Door found. Asteroid, I guess. It says. <laughs> you see how the, like, the dominant ones, when they get real close, you see how all the orbits move. It, it annoys me, but it's whatever. Let's see, is this this one has probably the potential of life. It's 31? Ooh, I mean 32. <laughs> it's a water well. It does have some land on it though. It does. Let's see, huh? Where's the life likelihood? 44%, that's not bad, almost 50. Let's see, what about uh, silver? This one probably doesn't really have it, yeah. It has really nothing. This one is probably too hot. Let's see. Yeah, life like a zero percent. Skip time some more. Is that, that's a rocky planet. No, that's not a rocket planet. Never mind. <laughs> so nothing else has gotten ejected. Looks like nothing else has gotten destroyed either. As you can see, most of the orbits are already very chaotic. Should we send like some kind of like rogue planet through? I don't want this to screw up anything, so I will save this. Part one, I'll just name that, whatever. So let's see, what should we just throw in there? What is this? Where's our most dominant one? It's this one right here. We got this. Oh, actually. Yeah. No, I thought that would be like. I thought that was a brown dwarf. 
Something like big enough that can just eject some planets. You know what? Let's just send a. Uh... Okay, uh, where is Jupiter? Right. Just launch this thing. I'm not sure Jupiter. So, Jupiter is gonna be 10, around 10 Jupiters now in size. Just gonna make that, um. Or not! <laughs> Dang it! What that isn't directly going from the sun. Sun again, dang it. Death five. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna send this right through. It's nothing's gonna happen. It's I don't know what Jupiter's gonna through. It's not gonna screw up absolutely anything. Oh. Okay, never mind, sun's caught onto it. <laughs> I need to delete this thing. But where did it go? Where is this rogue Jupiter I sent through? Oh my god, it is so close! No! <laughs> oh well. Oh, what the hell? Yet, yeah, what just happened? Alright, well, that's a good thing I uh, saved it. You never know what, what would happen. Alright, looks like we're not sending any, any rogue planet through, because it. That didn't work. Let's get time some more. Oh boy, remaining. 400 years a second. No, thank you. Don't need to go on that fast. Oh my god. Rem oh, is that Nyx? Yeah, Nyx is out there. Remaining, remaining to Nyx are hanging on. How long does Nyx take? 3,000 years! <laughs> oh my god. For 10,000 years. Yeah, remaining's. I mean, isn't gonna hold on for too long. If it if it can get lucky, it'll come back and, uh. Hopefully stay with us? No, oh, Nyx isn't doing so well either. Nyx is at, like, it's far at this point, it's coming in. Video, so we've got around a minute left. Steve, what the hell is going on here? Oh my god, I come so close. Let's see if I can catch Steve. Yeah. Okay, where's Nick's at? Okay, Nyx just came right in, but nothing really good happened to Nyx. Remanence is at its farthest point. Steve, what the hell is that orbit? <laughs> this is a real weird orbit. Oh my god, Steve. I thought that was a dominant gas thing, but no, it doesn't. Oh, oh no, we had a, another ejection laser beam. Oh, goodbye, laser beam. Wow, that is going fast. 
Nick's is still hanging on. Oh my god, Hunter. Very chaotic. Oh, I just realized 15 minutes. But yeah, this is part one. As you can see, it's very chaotic. So go, go check out uh, the Neptunians Guy channel. Or credits to him for giving me this idea. It's a very cool idea. It's almost like a custom. Oh, wait a minute. Is that an ejection? I'm just gonna say it is. Oh, goodbye, Steve. One of my first ever gas giants I made. I think Hunter's gonna go pretty soon, too. Oh my god, we made it. You know what? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, no, we'll see it. Okay. See, it's coming in. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Hunter can, uh, can recover from this. Let's see if it's just gonna just be totally slingshot out of here, or let's see. Uh, it looks like it was just slingshotted out of here. Well, goodbye. So, Nick's remaining and whatever this one is that I made just a few minutes ago. Well, I made that before the video. Right, yeah, that's part one. Uh, see you in the next one. Uh, bye.